Hello to all, welcome to the channel GeoGuru and welcome to the second part of the video view shed analysis. In the previous part, we have talked about how to perform view shed analysis from a single point. But if you have a multiple points and if you want to know that from how many points this particular area of interest can be visible, so you can use this plugin also. So as previously, we have used some temporary scratch layer. So we just want to increase some more points and how to do that. Just click on this new scratch layer and click on this toggle editing and just click on add point feature now just create uh, for this uh, tutorial i am just creating some random points around like this hilltop here here you can choose accordingly plus please make sure that it should not be uh, uh far very far away from each other because we are going to take five kilometer or six kilometer as a radius so that's it that means we have created five to six points we can check with the attribute table so there are total 11 points so we'll just save this and put the toggle editing off okay we can change the visualization of this point just by clicking on this layer styling and select this new scratch layer and change this with the proper symbology so that we can easily visualize so we can visualize with a triangle and with the red color we just increase this tab you can select from varieties of color hue and apply you can increase the size also okay so now this is our points so the next thing uh, we are we are going to do is uh, search for this visibility analysis after installing the plugin click on this create viewpoints so we'll just select this new scratch layer digital elevation model will be dem the radius will be 5 meter now we can increase or decrease this radius for example i'm just taking 4 and observer height will be the same just click run and let's see now our file has been created a point file name is output layer again we are going to go to the view shed and we're just going to click the binary view shed uh, observer location is the output layer digital elevation model will be dm utm 44 north and now combining multiple outputs so this time we are going to take as addition so that means we will get a raster with value 0 to 10 a 10 a pixel that uh, pixel which has a value of 10 that means that particular area can be visualized with 10 minimum 10 uh, locations that we have provided so uh, all the details can be read from this like what is binary view shed what is depth below horizon so we are not going to go uh, do in this tutorial so just click run and let's see we have get the output a raster which we have a value from 0 to 3 uh, so what we can do we just click on this and click on this layer styling and raster output file and then we just select palette unique values classify so now we have value from 0 to 4 that means a particular portion can be viewed from four places so we will just select a single band pseudo color so that color can be and uh, the zero can be put a uh, transparent just right click on this change opacity click zero okay so now our uh, thing has been completed or the best way to visualize is uh, just click on this unique value classify click on this random color and just select any color ramp like red and make this zero as transparent okay now we will get the value from zero to four one two three four and click apply and close this now you can see this you have a raster data set from zero to four value the four value is the dark red that means this particular portion if i just uncheck this google terrain hybrid and just change it just make it upward so now these are the points we can change the color of this point as a yellow so that it can be clearly visualized apply okay so now these are the points and the darker red color is the area which can be visualized for minimum 
four places and this much of area the transparent area cannot be visualized from any places and the similarly the lighter area that means the pixel value that has color uh, one if i just go to the identify feature if i just get the value at one so that means it can be visualized from only single location so this kind of analysis can be uh, utilized in audit 185 that which is the best location uh, for any uh, defense purpose or mobile tower location or industrial purpose so that it can be visualized from maximum area so that's it for the day hope you like the video if so then please hit the like button share the video and subscribe to the channel thank you